Hey guys, today is October 6, 2011, and here's all the latest news you need to know about Nintendo. Before I begin, I just want to say that I have not only some good news for the normal news, but also lots of great news for you guys. We just hit the 30 subscriber mark, and we've decided to celebrate. So click on the annotation that's been on the screen for a while now, and it'll take you to the D announcement that'll tell you what's going on. I'm excited about it, but you'll just have to check it out for yourself. Anyways, let's get on with the news. Keiji Inafune, the creator of Mega Man, is now working on a new project for the 3DS. In King of Pirates, the three races of the Aves, Beasts, and Scales are fighting to take control of the oceans. The game will be released in 2012 in Japan. Ready for Harvest Moon Tale of Two Towns on the three Nintendo systems? Well, another is already on the way for the 3DS. The game will be called Harvest Moon The Land's Origin, and it will be out in Japan in early 2012, which is great. Nintendo has been getting many companies on board for their video projects. DreamWorks and 3Net will be joining and giving some shorts. From DreamWorks, we'll be seeing shorts for Monsters vs. Aliens and Shrek soon, and I find myself watching all these videos soon. As you can see here, Capcom has released the box art for Monster Hunter Tri-G in Japan. Some people say it's too busy, but I say it looks great. But with no localization announced, I'm just going to have to marvel at the screenshots. Oh, and I almost forgot. Three bundles will be released on launch day. You can get the game with a limited edition 3DS with a slide pad accessory or by itself. Resident Evil Revelations is one of the biggest 3DS games to be scheduled for 2012, and we've got lots of exciting news about it. The most shocking of which is that the game has been pushed up from the summer to fall 2012 release to February 7, 2012 in North America. I think this box art looks amazing, and maybe the best box art for the 3DS so far. Finally, GameStop has shown us what we'll get when we pre-order the game. You'll be getting a 3DS case, which is good at that, but the fact that the art changes when you're in sunlight or moonlight is just great. Zuda51, in a recent interview, has stated that no more heroes for the 3DS may be in the works. He was asked about it, and he said that it would be interesting. He also said that while no announcement will be made this year, he hopes to make some sort of announcement about the series next year. I love the games on the Wii, and I'd say it'd be great to have one on the 3DS. A quick bit of news, Nintendo has revealed the ice white color for the 3DS in Japan to be released on November 3rd. It actually looks pretty cool, haha, <laughs> sorry. Ending on some Wii U news, Call of Duty may be coming to the Wii U. In a new listing for jobs, Treyarch states that they need a new senior software engineer to head a team that is quote, bringing our highly successful game to a new console. While it doesn't say Wii U or Call of Duty, the game is the company's most sold series, and the Wii U is the likely choice. Well, now it's time for questions. Answer in the comments below, because I really want to hear what you guys have to say. First, what's your favorite pre-order bonus you've ever gotten? Also, what did you think of the No More Heroes game, and would you buy it on the 3DS? Well, that's it guys. Let me finish up while you look at some new Super Mario 3D land picks. And if you didn't already, click the annotation on screen now to go to the big announcement because you'll really enjoy it. If you enjoyed this news segment, hit that subscribe button to know when the next reviews, news, or countdown is. The next review should be out this weekend thanks to Columbus Day, so see you next Thursday for another D News.